Hello and welcome to a brand new video, Tomcat here, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Now, in this video, we are going to be doing another Stock versus Tune showdown. This is going to be between the behemoth of a car, the Bugatti Chiron, against a Nissan GTR. Now, the Nissan GTR is known all over the world for being a giant killer, especially when it's tuned. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a base speed with the Bugatti Chiron, and then we are going to set a base speed with a stock Nissan GTR, and then we're going to build that GTR and go after the speed that the Chiron set. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get out on the road and see what the Chiron will do. Now driving the Chiron is actually quite an interesting, quite an interesting thing to do because it's such a docile car. It really is. It's an insanely docile car with the way it delivers power all the way over to the way the all-wheel drive system works. Now, it's a seven-speed gearbox, so if you're cruising out on the highway and a Mini cuts out in front of you, well, if a Mini cuts out in front of you, all you have to do is pull the e-brake and spin around and kick the clutch. But that doesn't really happen in a real Chiron, so you can't really base it off of that. But it's a very, very relaxed car. I mean, even when you're blazing down the highway at crazy speeds. It's a very relaxed car. I mean, look what we're doing right now. 74 miles an hour, seventh gear, just real easy. Coming into this roundabout, you know, 70 miles an hour. Don't even have to take it out of seventh. It's super, super smooth, super easy. Now, we are going to conduct this experiment from the same location that we always do. I'm gonna throw it in reverse real quick, just get it backed up just a little bit and now we're gonna launch and head for the speed trap I have high hopes for this car I really do three two one go a little bit of all-wheel drive wheel spin just because of the fact that it is wet out but that should be no problem leading into what we have to do next or well really it should be no problem for this car specifically because of that all-wheel drive system. So, 212.13 miles an hour. Remember that, 212.13 miles an hour, and those brakes are absolutely glowing. Now, it's time to go buy a stock GTR and see what that is can do. Now for this test, we're going to be buying a 2017 GTR as opposed to a 2012 GTR. I thought about the difference between the two and I was like, I kind of want to have the updated technology, the updated all-wheel drive system, the updated engine that you get in the 17 model. Now, I also actually like the looks of the 17 GTRs, the 17 plus GTRs a little bit more than the previous generation models. I think the front end is a little bit better looking. I think the front bumper is a little bit better looking. And I just think it's an overall better looking car. And I'm actually going to go with it in white. Now, you see a lot of white GTRs, but I think the reason why you see a lot of white GTRs is because GTRs look good in white. They pull off the color really, really well. And I know a lot of people say, like, white's a boring color for a car, especially for a supercar, but there are some cars that can just pull off white really, really well, and the GTR just happens to be one of those cars, at least in my opinion. So off to the upgrade shop. Actually, not yet. We have to go out and see what this thing will do stock. Now, driving the GTR is obviously a very different experience than driving the Chiron. I mean, as compared to the Chiron, I mean, in here, you feel like it's like going from, like, it's like going from an Audi R8 to a 370Z. It's almost like the best thing I can compare it to. But the GTR also drives very differently. I mean, whereas the Chiron kind of surges forward, you floor it in the GTR and it's like, boom! And coming from, like, having driven 17-plus GTRs, they, not 17-plus as in, you know, 17 different ones, but 2017 and newer GTRs, they really, they really do give you a massive kick into the seat, even from the factory. Like, if you, if you floor it in, like, first or second gear, just bam, you are in the freaking seat. So, let's go ahead and get this thing staged up. And boom! All right. And three, two, one, go. Little bit of wheel spin, but that's probably due to the fact that we have stock tires on this car right now. 
Obviously, we're not going to be anywhere close to the 212.13 miles an hour of the stock Chiron, but we are going to be pretty quick nonetheless. So let's see how much we have to make up in ground. We went 176.35 miles an hour. So 176 miles an hour stock versus 212 miles an hour stock. So time to head to the shop and see what we can make happen under the hood of this GTR. All right, let's get to building. So let's see. We're going to want to go into... I don't know why I'm all of a sudden very confused on where to go. I, I know where the upgrades area is. All right, custom upgrade time. So we got to get our brake situation sorted. We got to get our suspension situation sorted. We got to get all of the platform stuff sorted out so we can modify all of it. Get that race weight reduction done. This thing is going to be basically if you were to send your GTR to any of these modern GTR shops, for example, and say, I want a half mile monster. This is pretty much pretty much what they would build you. So let's run, we're going to run a race tire on this car. We're going to run a 285 in the front. We're going to run a 315 in the back. Mild stagger. And wheels wise, we're going to run a probably, probably an ADV1, but I'm trying to figure out which ADV1 I want to run. I actually like these a lot. I dig them. I think they look good. Although, although, although we've run them on a couple of other cars, we're going to run the ADV Forza. The ADV Forza is a really good looking wheel. We're going to leave the size alone. And then we are going to, holy crap, that's actually a little bit too much offset. That is about flush. That's about perfect in the front. And in the rear, that is right about flush. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So now the wheels are spaced properly. And error and appearance-wise, there's not really much you can do except for do, you know, a splitter, canards, a, a, a Forza wing on the back. We can either do the Forza wing or we can take the wing off. And I think that since this is a straight line focused car, we're going to do a wing delete. And we're going to run, let's see, now we're going to run as much power as we humanly possibly can. Which involves building the absolute crap out of this VR38. Which it won't be a 3.8 by the time we're done with it. It's interesting, you don't actually gain a ton of power from cams. You, the, the power you gain is more from the turbos. Let's see. Yeah, plus 167 horsepower. It's insane. So we'll get our oil and cooling done. And at the end of the day, we made 983 horsepower and 772 foot-pounds of torque weighing in at 3,063 pounds out of a 4.1 liter twin turbo V6. So it's actually very light for a GTR. That's that's it, that, that would be insanely light for a GTR. So let's go ahead and install the setup, head back out to the highway, and on the drive there, I'm going to be very curious to see what this GTR is actually capable of now. Because remember, we haven't tuned it. So I don't know if it's going to... It probably won't max the gearing out in between the start line and the speed trap. But I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so driving our new GTR. Now, this is going to... I assume this is going to drive... A lot more high strung. Let's see. Let's roll into it. Oh yeah, it's it's a lot faster. It's the the punch in third gear is now what the punch was like in first. Let's see what first is like. And go. It just blows the tires off. It just blows the tires off. Second gear is gonna be where is gonna be where you really like if you want to do like a brake boosted launch, oh my god. All right, let's do like a 40 roll. That's going to be full boost. Go! That's insane! Oh my god, that is ridiculous power. Nowhere near as much power as the Chiron still, but I wonder if we'll be able to make up for that in weight. So I'm going to launch it in second gear because first gear just blows the tires off. And let's see. Actually, I want to see how much boost we're building. All right, about 21 pounds of boost to launch. 4,700 RPM, second gear, and go! Peak boost is 25 pounds. This thing is very fast. Very, very fast. Closing in on 200. There's 200! Oh, we maxed out the stock gearing, and we beat the Bugatti 214 miles an hour. Well, 
that's why they call the GTR a giant killer. This thing really does topple giants. It really, really does genuinely topple giants. Both, both when, you know, both in cars in its own class when it's stock, and cars that are much, much higher when it's tuned. It is very fast, very, very fast. And I could definitely see myself doing something with this car later on because we are just maxing the crap out of the stock gearing. Just maxing it out like mad. I wonder though, I wonder though, we didn't put drag tires on it. Can we drift around about? Kind of? The all wheel drive system is kind of fighting me a little bit. It's, it's saying like, what are you doing? The, oh, well once you get it into a rhythm, I guess it's all good. <laughs> That is hilarious that it'll just do that. At least I find it hilarious. And we're doing it with a Sesto Elemento. That just makes it even better. But no, I definitely recommend building yourself one of these if you haven't already. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have tons of GTRs in their garage at this point. But for me, the GTR was never really a car that I had like a ton of them just lying around. So I wanted to kind of give it a shot. And you know what? It really impressed me. It took down that Chiron. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Links, as always, are in the description below. And I will see you all later.